Hi, my name is Tom Burich. I'm the acting CEO for Primary Health Network, and I would like to welcome you to our 2020 rewards and recognition event. Due to the pandemic, we aren't able to have a group celebration, but do not want to wait until next year when the risks are mitigated, therefore the need for our virtual event. Over the rest of this video, you will hear about employee of the quarter awards, years of service awards, and other very special awards. On behalf of myself, the PHN Board of Directors and our senior management team, your efforts and dedication to Primary Health Network are recognized and appreciated. In closing, I hope you enjoy this year's celebration. It's been a very stressful year, but we will get through this together. Thanks. For each quarter in 2019, we asked managers to submit their nominations for employees who they felt went above and beyond what is normally required of them in their jobs. We are so thankful to the employees who were nominated and received Employee of the Quarter Awards in 2019 and appreciate their dedication to our mission, our patients, and our organization. Let's hear from those managers who submitted the nominations to learn a little more about why they were chosen. Hi, my name is Sandy Schwanbeck. I oversee the document management team in informatics department. I've been asked to say a few words about Kay Peters, who was nominated the first quarter of last year. Um, some of the things that I wanted to make sure uh, everyone knew about Kay is she is a very inspiring person in our department. She inspires uh, all her coworkers and anyone that meets her. Um, she thinks of others before herself, always. Um, very positive uh, to her coworkers, and uh, all of her coworkers think very highly of her. Her focus is always on PHN and our department. She's always asking uh, for projects to do when she's done with her work. She always keeps herself busy, and um, everybody appreciates her. One of the things that um, is an example and why I wanted um, to nominate Kay was we had a, a difficult time with low staff in our department during the, this quarter and uh, Kay had delayed a surgery of hers for carpal tunnel. She's a transcriptionist and um, knowing that that kind of thing affects your job, Kay was more concerned about our department she wanted to be here for us and um, she worked very diligently and the transition with low staff was so smooth. And um, I just appreciate Kay for everything she did uh, for that quarter. So just wanna say Kay, thank you so much. You're so appreciated and um, just wanna let everybody know. Hi, my name is Dawn. I work in the Human Resource Department, and I nominated Nancy Kuzel for Employee of the First Quarter in 2019. I nominated Nancy because of her work ethic, her positive attitude, and her dependable um, dependability. She's knowing, knowing that she will follow up through um, any request that is given. Nancy, um, I've heard from other supervisors and managers throughout her years here. She's been pulled to different sites, and she's always happy and willing to go never never complains um, at all, takes on any new task. She uh, greets each person um, that comes through the door, no matter who you are, um, as if you were her best friend. Um, she does treat all of our patients like their family and goes that extra mile. Um, she's an especially huge help to me when she was at Buell Farm. We have providers that only work one or two days um, a week or month and needing um, information to keep their files current. She always, I never had to worry about asking her twice. She just would follow up with them and get me the information. And that's, she was the reason I nominated her for employee of the first quarter. Good afternoon. I'm Jenny Slabe, Chief Information Officer. It's my pleasure to share that our data integrity specialist, Jason Agnew, received the 2019 Employee of the Second Quarter Award for the positive impact he had on staff, departments, and the overall organization by increasing the ability to extract and utilize data. 
This created efficiencies to increase productivity and collaboration to develop statistical analysis. Jason's a laid back and very personable team player with amazing analytical skills. Congratulations and thank you for all you do, Jason. Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Bieber and I'm the Visual Arts Manager in the Marketing Department. I nominated Jordan Woolley, our Graphic Design Specialist for Employee of the Third Quarter in 2019. Jordan actually started with us as an intern a few years ago and in the short time he's been with us, he's done an incredible job of helping with our marketing efforts. One thing I can say about Jordan is he loves to learn and he's always willing to learn a new skill if it will benefit our department. In addition to being an extremely talented graphic designer, he's also taken on the role of photographer, videographer, video editor, podcast editor, the list just goes on, um, and the quality of his work is always exceptional. And no matter what project he's working on or how complex it is, Jordan always approaches his work with a positive attitude, and he isn't afraid to look for alter alternative solutions to any problems that come up. Jordan has also done an incredible job of making our community events extremely special for the kids that attend. His graphic design skills have helped us transform Sharon Medical Group so kids feel like they're in Santa's workshop or even at Disney World when they come to our events. While Jordan works behind the scenes most of the time, um, you can know that his talents are seen in the majority of visual materials that we create in our department. And that includes this year's National Health Center Week Lighthouse Design and the entire post-production and editing of this year's Rewards and Recognition video. So Jordan, I just want to say thank you for all that you do and congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Fabian. I'm the Director of Safety and Security. Um, I'm really excited that I get the chance to share that I've I nominated Mark Means, um, the Safety and Security Officer for Employee of the Quarter um, in the third quarter of last year. Uh, three things that come to mind about Mark that really stood out from the day I started was that um, he's very knowledgeable, he's a team player, and most importantly, he's selfless. Um, Mark wears many different hats. Uh, you know, he is safety and security officer. He's the head football coach for West Middlesex. Uh, he's a husband, and he has two kids that he helps uh, take care of amongst all of those other things that keep him really busy. Um, the reason I felt that he was the perfect candidate is that um, those of you who know Mark, he'll go out of his way and help and do whatever he can to assist you, whether um, it relates to his position or not. Uh, I find that to be um, very uh, great. And, um, you know, you don't see those traits in people uh, all the time. And uh, so prior to my arrival of primary health, um, there were some gaps, you know, with hiring the, the director and who Mark would report to. And Mark just kind of, he just stepped up and uh, took over and, you know, he oversaw the day-to-day -day of the department. Um, there, were, there were projects that were started that needed to be finished. And, you know, um, from my understanding, now being here uh, a year, I see that, you know, he really filled all those gaps. And I would re-nominate him today because he continues to prove that. And the more I see, the more I recognize that he did it. So. Um, you know, congratulations, Mark. I'm proud of you, and I look forward to uh, what, what more you're going to do in the future. This is Mike Rodriguez, Northern Regional Director. I nominated Lauren Hasbrook from Titusville for the employee fourth quarter for her continuous ambition, hard work, and dedication to the, to the success of not only her site, but to the entire network. Lauren is a tremendous asset who always strives to deliver exceptional care to both medical and behavioral health patients, easily navigates the difficulty of VFC and maintaining and correcting temperature excursions, assists the entire Northern region with Joint Commission audits, works tirelessly on PI projects, looks for and reports on opportunities to improve marketing as well as network outreach. I honestly could go on and on. She is just a welcoming, funny, caring, compassionate employee that I have the pleasure to work with. I'm thrilled she was selected as it is definitely well-deserved. So Lauren, thank you for everything you do. I'm very, very excited to work with you and congratulations. At Primary Health Network, we recognize our greatest asset is our employees. To those employees who make a conscious decision to stay with PHN for years upon years, we thank you. For some, you may be early in your time with us. 
For others, you may have spent your entire career doing the work of our mission. Let's take a few minutes to recognize the names of those individuals and to note the years of service that they have provided. For five years of service, Jason Agnew, Carrie Bailey, Diane Brooks, Irene Clifton, Kathleen Clunan, Rochelle Craig, Emily Cubellis, Keisha Davis, Alicia Deflin, Terry Eames, Jason Fernandez, Mira Freinas, Heather Goodwin, Deborah Gosnell, Dr. Gail Hain, Gregory Hofstetter, Nancy Kepner, Stacy Laverock, Rebecca Luther, Roy Masato, Lacey Maud, Dr. Menon, Brittany Myrell, Justina Miller, Marie Mulvihill, Violet Newman, Myrna Otero, Pamela Pancuric, Dr. Pandian, Kay Peters, Carrie Pinchotti, Paula Scalise, Dr. Shah Jahan, Lori Thomas, Tammy Thompson, Ashley Vidala, Dr. Vasilenko, Dr. Vasileva, Molly Welton, Jody Winters, Carissa Uran, and for 10 years of service, Dr. Ali, Dr. Antonowitz, David Brest, Kathleen Buner, Monica Bukovinsky, Dr. Dwayne Cole, Valerie Doddle, Danielle Gibbons, Sue Ellen Grego, Sonia Hurd, Shane Heckman, Bonnie Hetrick, Dr. Romnack, Rebecca Jendranjewski, Joseph Lippo, Joyce Markle, Christine McIntyre, Susan Myers, Alyssa Nehe, Dr. Reed, Shelby Roper, Charles Wolford, and for 15 years of service, Sharon Blauser, Dr. Dumpy, Dr. Lauer, Valerie Finley, Deborah Gregg, Tammy Marcis, Josie Malone, Joe Montone, Barbara Oberman, Dr. Patel, Dr. Stout, and for 20 years of service, Denise Buchanan, Scott Joyce, Dr. Shipton, Jenny Slabe, for 25 years of service, Cindy Novotny. And finally, for 30 years of service, Monica Sims. The PHN Customer Service Award is given to an individual or team in recognition of outstanding patient satisfaction. The criteria used to choose the recipient of this award is chosen directly by our patients at PHN from our patient satisfaction survey. Two metrics are used, the survey questions that are rated by our patients and patient input that is written in by them. The first metric used comes from approximately 13,000 surveys that are completed annually by our patients. The topics of the survey include quality of care, care team is friendly and courteous, time taken with the patient, meeting their health care needs, access to care, and promptness to, of correspondence regarding their care. The second metric use comes directly from patient input. Patients are also given the chance to write in any ad additional information they want to share with us. The recipient of this award had outstanding metric ratings in all of those areas. Patients have also left input about this employee that explains how he or she goes above and beyond customer service on a daily basis. Some of the comments that the patient have shared about the 2019 
Customer Service Award winner include. Always answers my health questions. Provides excellent care. The care is absolute best. He or she really cares about the patients. I'm always well taken care of when I go there. Takes great care of me and answers all of my questions. Has for years. Is the best doctor ever. Is very thorough and very caring without being an alarmist. I have been with him or her for years and hope he or she has no plans of retiring soon. Doctor is amazing, very thorough, answers all of my questions, and never makes me feel rushed. Is an excellent physician, is easy to communicate with, takes time to talk with you, and explains different procedures and goals for me, has an excellent knowledge of what I need to do to stay healthy. I am so glad to have him or her. Very attentive to your condition and has good bedside manner. I'm glad that I found him or her in the primary health network. Those are the metrics used and patient input received to determine the recipient of the PHM customer service form. I'm also going to share with you some additional input that was received about the extraordinary customer service provided to our patients on a daily basis by this year's award winner. Breaks things down to simple terms for patients to understand and actively listen to them. Is very compassionate for his or her patients and asks clinical staffs on a daily basis to check in on patients that have been seen throughout the week to make sure that they are okay. Frequently adds on visits to the already busy schedule so that the patients do not have to go to urgent care. Truly cares about the patients. When out of the, when out of the office, Always make sure to respond to patients within a few hours and does whatever is necessary to accommodate the patient's needs. Is a model of patient-centered care. Always involves the patients and puts them first. Is generally a great person and even better physician. Employees feel that every one of his or her patients have excellent care and are very happy that they have him or her as a physician. I wanna thank this year's award recipient for going above and beyond for our patients and ensuring they receive the best customer service and quality care here at PHN. I'm going to now hand the mic over to Dr. Garrow, who will present the 2019 Customer Service Award. Congratulations. So Dr. Diebeck, I am honored and pleased to be able to present to you today the 2020 Primary Health Network Customer Service Award. So I thank you. I very thank well you. deserved, and uh, uh, it's really a, an honor and a pleasure for me to be able to present this to you on behalf of Primary Health Network. So here's what I know about Dr. Diebeck. Uh, he is one of the uh, hardest working uh, individuals I think I've ever known. Uh, he is always thinking about his patients. He's really always uh, on top of his game. And uh, to underscore that, I understand that uh, he likes to golf. And I can only imagine what he's like on a golf course. He probably gets the rounds in in no time. And uh, I also recently learned that uh, he uh, is a hockey player. Uh, so this man actually pre-COVID would uh, go out on, a, on Sundays and, and actually get on the ice and play hockey. So, I don't know if I'd call it play hockey. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, so uh, he, he, here's what I know about hockey players. So the difference being, you know, I played basketball when, in my younger years and, oh, they would have to carry me off the court because I had leg cramps. But um, I'm sure Dr. Diebeck is like most hockey players. He would play right through with broken ribs, torn cartilage, a punctured lung, and a separated shoulder and think nothing of it. And uh, that's the same way he approaches caring for his patients. Uh, he uh, really you know, does a great job thinking about them, caring for them, and um, your patients obviously admire and respect you uh, greatly, as do we. So again, please accept this award on behalf of us at Primary Health Network. Thank you so much. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with the staff here and with uh, the administration of PHN down in Sharon. And again, thank you. Hi, I'm Jennifer Wise, the Vice President of Clinical Services. It is my pleasure to present the Good Catch Award on behalf of the Risk Management Committee. 
Good catch rep reports are an effective means to improve patient safety. In healthcare, good catches occur up to 100 times more frequently than serious events, but often go underreported. When our staff recognize and report good catches, it allows us more opportunities to improve patient safety. Each quarter, PHN's patient safety and clinical risk manager, Jenny Day, nominates a person or a site for the Good Catch Award. The Risk Management Committee reviews the candidates and chooses the one who will receive the award. Then annually, one of the quarterly recipients is chosen to receive the Good Catch of the Year Award. The winner of the this year's award goes to the site that followed PHN's high-risk tracking policies for patients who had lab work done for Coumadin management. Because of the site's diligence in tracking, they noticed the delay in receiving lab results back and contacted the lab. The lab reported that the specimens had been lost. The patients were subsequently contacted and retested. The proactive response by the site reduced the delay in patients getting their results back and having their Coumadin doses adjusted accordingly. I am pleased to present this award to the Beaver Falls primary care team. Thank you. Hey. Good job, guys. Thank you so Good much. Job. Good job, guys. Thanks. Proud of you all. <laughs> it's my pleasure to announce the 2019 Performance Improvement Project of the Year Award on behalf of Katie Sherman and the Performance Improvement Committee. The purpose of performance improvement is to provide a comprehensive program that continuously assesses the quality of care provided to our patients and provides feedback that enables both the network and the site to continually, continuously adjust the processes that we put in place to um, improve patient care. For PI projects to be highly successful, we um, encourage the entire team that is providing the, the care to the patients to participate in the, in the study involved. Um, this year, PHN's medical sites are focusing on improving the care of diabetic patients. Um, the site who is the recipient of this year's award worked together as a team to identify patients who were due for hemoglobin A1C testing. By working to get together, they created a workflow that allowed them to successfully reach out and contact the patients who were in need of testing, um, schedule them for appointments, and get, those tests, get that testing done. In addition, they also provided patient education um, regarding ways to lower A1Cs, particularly focusing on those patients whose A1Cs were, were out of control. Um, between these two projects, and focusing on this, they were able to improve the care that our diabetic patients received during this time. And I am pleased to present the award to Petroleum Valley Health Center. Yay. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. It's an honor. So hello, Dr. Magnifico. How are you today? I am fine. <laughs> yes, you are. So um, among the things that I really enjoy most about um, what I get to do here at Primary Health Network is to recognize colleagues and providers and physicians like yourself uh, for doing outstanding work. And um, several years ago, uh, we created a an honor, an award that we call Mane Ictum Award, which is Latin phrase for sudden impact. And the, this award was generated really with the um, hope that we would um, acknowledge and recognize someone who's relatively new to the PHN family, but has really made a, a significant impact um, on our patients, on our communities, and um, on the network. And uh, it's an honor for me to present to you uh, the 2020 Mane Ictum Award as the provider uh, that we recognize has made a great, significant, and substantial impact to make our organization even better. So, congratulations. Thank you, and shocking. I think you just made my blood pressure go up. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
you know, here, here's what I know about you, Beth. I, you know, I, every once in a while, friends, colleagues enter our life and you feel like you've known them forever. And I feel like you and I and you and this organization were just meant to be. You embrace our mission. I have seen firsthand um, the quality of care, uh, compassionate care that you deliver to our patients, the care that you have for your community and for your staff. And um, it is such a joy to welcome you to Primary Health Network and to uh, work side by side with you every day. So congratulations. Thank you. The other thing, I tell you to thank Beth Weir because for two years she kept telling me I was an FQHC and I never knew what that meant. <laughs> right. She just goes, you're an FQHC. I'm like, is that a good thing? <laughs> is that not a good thing? What does that mean? So she's the one who prompted me to come and find you guys. Yeah. So thanks. Yeah. And I know that, that um, it, it, it hasn't been an easy road. You know, this little virus and the hospital did their thing and locked the doors and, <laughs> you know, but, but through it all, you have demonstrated, again, compassion, uh, commitment, dedication, you're smart, you're wise, you're, you're just, um, you're very deserving of this. So congratulations. Thank you. So um, among the things that I uh, enjoy uh, and appreciate and I'm so grateful for um, among the many tasks that come my way, um, is the opportunity to recognize uh, colleagues, providers um, that really go above and beyond. And um, here's what I know about you, John. Um, you know, we've talked on many occasions about our um, mentor that, you know, really I think was so very influential in <laughs> our careers and getting yep. us where, where we are. And, and um, you know, I see in you many of the same talents and gifts that Dr. Berlin uh, demonstrated. Um, you, um, you are so beloved by um, your, your patients, uh, not only the, the kids, but, but their parents as well. Um, you know, you, when, we, when we do our survey, uh, satisfaction surveys, your net promoter score is consistently at 100%. And, um, that, that really is a reflection of, of, of not only your, your intelligence and your ability to manage their, their care well, but your compassion and how well you communicate. Um, you're a clinical leader. Uh, you know, um, how many times have I turned to you for guidance and advice? And, and you, you lead not only in what you say, but what you do and how you do it. You, um, your staff uh, really admire and remind me all the time that you have an outstanding work ethic um, and um, Nick and the team say they love brainstorming with you to you know kind of think outside of the box and learn new things. Um, loyalty you've been with Primary Health Network for 20 years and uh, you've been since you the time that you've joined us you've been just an amazing person for us to work with. So um, on behalf of um, Primary Health Network, um, I would like to recognize you this year as our 2020 uh, uh, Above and Beyond uh, Award winner for uh, excellent service and as our medical provider of the year. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, well, that's, you know, when, when you're talked about in the same sentences, uh, Dr. Cheston Berlin, then that's, I guess, about the highest compliment that you can get as a pediatrician. I mean, it's easy to do what I do when you love what you do. That's pretty much what it boils down to. And, you know, I remember we've, you know, talked in the past, George, and it's that, you know, if, if you love, if you love your job, if you love uh, what you do on a daily basis, then, you know, then it makes it easy. Yeah. So I, I appreciate the recognition. And like I said, I, I give, credit to the people who who helped me in my career like Dr. Blinn and yourself I mean you know it's um you know hopefully like I said I on a daily basis if I do what I do and I 
mention the same sentences as, as those people, then, well, then that's, that's a high compliment. I appreciate it. Well, well, it's certainly well-deserved and, and uh, thank you for all that you do for our patients and for our network and for our communities. Um, so congratulations, John. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Saba. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Not too bad, you know, just go, going with the flow, basically, just going with the flow. Right, right. Well, actually, uh, that's what I was going to talk with you about is your uh, adaptability, your flexibility, your kind of going with the flow. Um, obviously, 2020 has been a challenging time for um, a lot of us, uh, and particularly for our colleagues uh, and coworkers in the dental field. And I appreciate obviously uh, all of uh, that you guys uh, are doing to sort of help us and help our patients. Um, but in addition to that, um, I, I really want to mention kind of what I know about you, Chris, um, in the time that you've been with us. Um, yeah, I know that you have excellent uh, chair side manner, uh, especially when it comes to children. Um, you uh, share your uh, appreciation with your coworkers, with your staff. Um, you're uh, you know, a regular member of the team for team huddles and team meetings. Um, even uh, pre-COVID, uh, your adaptability and your flexibility uh, was just remarkable. And in fact, I understand that um, even in times when you're being flashed, uh, that you maintain a sense of like normalcy and control. I, I understand that you were caring for a, a restless uh, uh, patient who, young child, and um, in the middle of your explaining to the mom what was going on, she uh, took off her top and started to breastfeed. And, and you didn't miss a beat. You just kept right on going with the flow. So <laughs> an example of, of your uh, adaptability and flexibility. And we really appreciate that. Um, so it's an honor and a pleasure for me to present to you uh, today the 2020 uh, Primary Health Network Above and Beyond Award recognized as the Provider of the Year in Dentistry for Primary Health Network. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's actually pretty unexpected. Um, I only just do what I always want is best for patients, so I appreciate it. Well, certainly it's, uh, it's well-deserved, and um, on behalf of all of us at Primary Health Network, thank you for the work that you do and uh, for taking such great care of our patients and our communities. So congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. And, and I hope to be here for a long time trying to do exactly the same thing. Appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Carolyn. Hello. Hi, so uh, here's what I know about Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn is extremely committed and dedicated uh, to caring for her patients. Uh, she is strong and compassionate and uncompromising. She does a wonderful job in caring for her patients. Uh, she gently guides them uh, and sometimes needs to be firm with them, but always, always, always does the right thing for her patients. Um, as long as I've been with the network, I recognize that Carolyn has an unwavering dedication to patient safety and to quality. And I think um, she exemplifies and typifies what is the very, very best of primary health network. She's not often happy or content with that as well, and she works hard and expects nothing less than the best from herself. So it's because of all of these characteristics and traits that I am very pleased to present to you today, Carolyn, the Primary Health Network 2020 Above and Beyond Award as the Behavioral Health Provider of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, this is a surprise. I, I had no idea that um, I was receiving this award and I, I really appreciate it. I, I don't know that I work any harder or I'm more dedicated than anybody else 
in, in the office where I work. I value everybody that I work with and we are all very, very dedicated um, to working with um, our population. And it, it's not an easy job, but um, every day at the, end of the, at the end of the day, there is a positive reward to, to take home. So that's, that's always, you know, a benefit to working in this field. Well, um, con congratulations. It's, you know, obviously very, very well deserved. And, you know, please know how extremely grateful I am and really all of us at Primary Health Network. So, Carolyn, on behalf of all of us at Primary Health Network, uh, thank you for all that you do every day uh, to help improve the lives of our patients and our community. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Joe Montone, and I'm here to uh, present the Site of the Year Award. Um, and it's always difficult to, uh, to pick a site. Uh, there's so many great sites out there. Um, there's so many. You all do fantastic work, and we really, really appreciate that. Uh, but we do have to pick one, and uh, this site was nominated, and this is the reasons why they were nominated. They were nominated because this site uh, follows our Joint Commission policies and implements those policies extremely well uh, over time. They are uh, oftentimes when they're short staffed because it's a small site um, and even when they're short staffed, they, they, they make it work somehow. Um, oftentimes they're asked to go other sites and being out in the middle of the country to go to another site is at minimum of an hour away. Um, the site does great PI projects and really tries to uh, fulfill the uh, expectations of uh, PHN. Uh, the staff has volunteered to engage their community uh, and often do so. Um, the site has been financially stable and consistent. Um, the site also is one of our better sites as far as integrating behavioral health and medical. Uh, they've been doing it for quite some time. They seem to just get the concept. And that's a, that's a credit to all the uh, staff as well as the providers. Um, the bottom line of, of this site is that the staff care and their patients know it and, and the community knows it. So when you're patient centered like that, you have a great opportunity to be successful. This site that I refer to is the Titusville Health Center. So Titusville, Congratulations. I don't know if you can see this or not, but you, you will get a plaque this Friday, tomorrow. So um, congratulations and, and thank you for participating. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Joe Montone. It is difficult to choose an employee of the year. There are so many, there are so many of you that could be recognized for this award. We appreciate all of your efforts. However, when we review the nominees for employee of the year, we look for the following things. An employee who helps others, who collaborates well, who demonstrates that they desire to improve themselves, an employee with a positive attitude, believes in our mission, an employee who realizes that we're here to serve our patients, an employee who not only just verbalizes all the things that I just mentioned, but actually demonstrates it through behavior. This person consistently demonstrates these characteristics this year, and she is the PHN 2020 Employee of the Year, and her name is Cheyenne Matthews. Congratulations, Cheyenne. Thank you. And here's your award, Employee of the Year, and we'll present it to you on Friday. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, and as always, uh, you were nominated by a number of people and you were voted on by a committee. So um, congratulations. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, employee recognition is such an important part of our job. So um, I'm grateful to be sharing this moment with you all today. Um, for those that don't know her, I want to introduce Alex Learn. She's a senior accountant in our finance department. She's been with PHN about five years. 
Uh, she started as an intern, then she was a uh, accountant, then a staff accountant, and now she's a senior accountant. Um, it's hard to put into words how important Alex is to the finance department and PHN. Um, she's one of the hardest working uh, people I've ever had the opportunity to work with. She's uh, detail oriented. She's always willing to step up and go the extra mile. Um, recently, over the last couple of months, she's taken on a lot more responsibilities in our department, um, especially with Dave Schulich retiring last August. Um, and she's just always willing to step up and um, you know be a part of the team. Uh, she's an expert on all of the software applications that our department uses. Um, I, I pretend like I know what I'm doing, but she <laughs> knows them way more than I do. Um, I used to think I was an expert in Excel, but, um, and then Alex has certainly trumped me on, on those skills lately. Um, she's especially helpful on the payroll side of things. Uh, payroll processing has become extremely difficult over the last few months with all the changes in regulation. Um, and there's been a ton of cross department collaboration with HR. Um, and, and she's done a great job handling that and making sure payroll is accurate and, and process efficiently. So um, I know Nancy Draskovic, our payroll coordinator, and I say to each other at least once a week, I don't know what we would do without Alex. And that just speaks volumes to her as a team member and, and how dedicated she is her job. And, um, you know, she's universally loved by all the employees that she has interacted with and, and PHN is just really lucky to have her. So um, on behalf of PHN, I'm honored to present Alex with the 2020 Employee of the Year Award. Uh, congratulations, Alex, on this well-deserved award. Um, and I guess I'll present it to you. She's just two doors down. So I'll yeah. present it to her uh, with a mask on in a few minutes. So congratulations, Alex. Alex. Thank you so much. I did not. This completely caught me off guard. You lied. <laughs> yeah, this was. Do what this was about. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but you did. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, well, thank you so much. Like, yeah, you're welcome. Well deserved. Oh, I'm speechless. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, again, congratulations, and uh, thanks for all your hard work. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Good afternoon. I'm Jenny Slabe, our Chief Information Officer. I'm extremely honored for the opportunity to participate in the recognition of Primary Health Network's outstanding employees. It's a little different this year, being virtual, but nonetheless, the recognitions and the stories shared are inspiring. How you care for our patients, the kindness you show to coworkers, the pride you take in your work, and your dedication in carrying out our mission are much appreciated. PHN would not be able to do it without you. So thank you for your role in improving the lives of our patients in the communities we serve. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Sherry Reinhardt. I have the honor and privilege of serving as president and CEO of the Pennsylvania Association of Community Health Centers. We represent all of the community health centers like Primary Health Network across Pennsylvania. I don't know if you know what wonderful company you are in, but our community of community health centers is just fabulous. There are almost 900,000 Pennsylvanians who count on an FQHC, the other name for community health center, for access to care. It's people like you who are making access to quality, affordable care possible every day for people who would otherwise not have it. I, I never assume that everyone knows what an FQHC is. And so I'm going to share with you how I, how I explain what an FQHC is to people who don't work in our world. I use the FQHC as a mnemonic to, to explain what makes us different. The F is fees based on ability to pay. So you may know this, but every FQHC, not just Primary Health Net, not just the FQHCs in Pennsylvania, but every FQHC across the nation, if your income is at 200% of federal poverty or below, you will be offered sliding fees so that you can afford the care. The Q is quality health care for all, with the emphasis on the quality and the all. 
every community health center, including PHN, has to contribute data to what's called the Uniform Data System, or UDS. That data is available publicly. Um, so people can go in and see how PHN is doing as an organization, their financial quality and other indicators. And FQHCs like PHN have to be open to everyone, uh, regardless of ability to pay. So whether you're uninsured, insured, insured by Medicare, Medicaid, commercial, doesn't matter. Um, we're open to everyone. The H is highly competent health professional team. That's you. You are the heart and soul of FQHCs and why I'm so proud to serve the community of community health centers. And then the C is what really distinguishes community health centers and that's consumer slash community control. Every FQHC in the nation must have a governing board that is at least 51%, so a majority of patients that has to be patients served by the community health center. And that's to keep us true to the communities we serve. I just want to say that I know how challenging it has been to continue doing what you're doing both at home and at work during this pandemic, but you do it so well. And we are so grateful. And the 900,000 people across Pennsylvania who know that they can count on you for care, whether now it's through telehealth or in person, are so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do. I appreciate you. The PAC team appreciates you. You are our heroes.